to this chat that thinks that thinks that the narc the narc got it together that that thinks that the situation they ran to was better hey Leandra I need you tonight real heavy I need you real heavy tonight Leandra guys hit that like button y'all get hit the like button and put your hit the like button buckle up we're going right in we're going right in right now i'm just doing one song and we're going in we're not wasting no time tonight what's up jane happy 10 how you been jane drew it leandra what's up b wood misha t Keisha Spady, Cali Fin Fan. Woo! Good great boy. It's gonna be hot in here tonight. I'm only warning the narcs that watch. Y'all might wanna leave tonight. Y'all might not wanna be in here tonight. <laughs> Cause this gonna be ugly. This gonna be ugly. Hey Druid, we gonna drag them, bag them, and then toe tag them. <laughs> We're going to drag them, bag them, then toe tag them. Listen, y'all, this ain't for the lighthearted. Let me turn this off. This ain't for the lighthearted tonight. This ain't. <laughs> this ain't. I need y'all to come on in here and buckle up. I need y'all to hit that like button like you're liking something, like you feeling yourself tonight. Because tonight, man, I am going to dedicate this show to everybody that has gone through it, to everybody that has dealt with the narcissist, everybody who thinks that they got away with it, with what they did to you, especially everybody who thinks that they got away with what they did to you especially everybody that thinks that this dirty, trifling, crispy, cruddy, crut ball, dirty, raunchy, soft, runny doo-doo got away with something. Let me help you. <laughs> Let me help you out tonight. The narc didn't get away with anything. No, no. No. We so often, <clears throat> we so often get caught up. And, and see, when you are trying to get better, when you are really trying to do everything you can to get your mind back, because <clears throat> you just went through something and you're trying to get your mind back. Stop, stop acting like you like that ain't what you're doing. 
That's what I said, Keisha. <laughs> Soft, runny, stinky doo-doo. When you're trying to get your mind right, when you're trying to get your mind and your peace back from what this dirty, trifling crud ball, you dirty, trifling, cruddy, dirty, trifling crud ball, you dirty, trifling crud. We listen here, y'all. Listen here. You lose, you lose when you're not following them and you're not trying to figure out what they're doing. And, and you don't have to because they've shown you what they're doing. Y'all think that a narc moves in precision and they don't. They don't. It ain't a narc in this world that moves in a precise way and does something that makes sense, does something with meaning. Not one, not, I said not one out here. That's right, value, value base, ugly, stink, breath, trifling, crusty, crut ball. Oh, crut ball, dirty crut ball. Dirty, trifling, raggedy, you trifling crud ball. You think, y'all think that they did something, man. You think they got away with it. You think they got away, you think that they got away with it. Listen, you think they got away with it. And you think that because you watching and, and, and they not on the ground begging you. Okay, they not on the ground begging you, baby, please, pretty, please take me back. I know I messed up. I know, but please take me back. And you thinking that it must not be that they must they must be all right. <laughs> Whoa, you be thinking that they but they must be all right. They gotta be all right. They gotta be. They they must be happy, right? That's what we be thinking. They got to be happy. They must be. Vienna sausage toes. That's right. Get, hey, Leandra, I, lay, I need it on thick tonight. Lay it on thick. Man, we be thinking that they, listen, what y'all see the show title tonight? The narc has a plan that will always fail. Everything that crut ball touch. See, you know what, guys? We, again, again, it's us. It's us. It's not the crud ball. It's us. We the one thinking, if, they, if the narc could live the way you envision it, they'd be in heaven right now. If the narcissist was actually living the way you believe they live it is you it's not them it's you it's you you believe that they are happy that they're living their best life that life is so incredible because you ain't around because you don't see them and you don't hear from them and they not and they not they're not stalking you in a way you can see. They're not stalking you in a way that you can see them. Let, let me tell y'all something, first of all, okay, about a narcissist. Can I tell y'all about a narcissist tonight? <laughs> Woo, man. Uh, hey, look, if y'all got a narc right there next to him, this was meant to be offensive to them. You dirty, trifling, crut ball. Turn the TV up a little bit so they can hear me say it one time. You dirty, trifling, beady head, big head, stink breath, soft runny doo doo, you crut ball, crut ball. They're not getting a break tonight, y'all. You think you the only, and see, we won't, I can't even get it out. <laughs> I can't even get it out. Guys, guys, listen. You think because you don't see, because you're not behind the scenes, because what the narc is showing you don't look like what it is. 
but it didn't look like that when you met them. Guys, it didn't look like that when you met them. I'm going to tell y'all, the NARC, the NARC told y'all who the new supply is. You just didn't hear it when they said it. They didn't say this is a person I'm dealing with. They said it in a casual way. They said it like, you know, oh, this was my, uh, the librarian bought that book for me. That's how they tell you who the new supply is. Oh, yeah, I went to lunch and. Oh, man, I was at Burger King. Man, the burger was good. When they dealing with the guy that the manage order by whoever on fries at Burger King. That's how they tell you. Okay, they're not going to say, I'm cheating on you with, you know, somebody over here at the Walmart or somebody work over here at, you know, at the bank. <clears throat> they're not going to tell you like that. They're going to announce it in a way where they told you but you definitely did not catch it, okay? Most of the time, you not gonna catch it. <laughs> you dirty, foul, filthy, funky, trifling, crut ball. <sighs> Whew, good gracious. Guys, guys, listen, listen, man. For all of y'all that think that think the crut ball living their best life, doing better. You even think they're doing good. <clears throat> I've justified this to y'all before. I, how, how is somebody going to do good after they've done so much bad, after they've done so much wrong for so long? After they've done so much wrong for so long, <clears throat> they've done so much that they, they everything that you've tried to do right by them they made a mockery of it they made a mockery of everything you try and you still think they going somewhere you still think it's a possibility that the universe that god almighty so I know they dogged you. I know they lied, cheated, stole from you everything, embarrassed you everything, but I'm going to give them a pass. That's what you're saying. That God Almighty said, I'm going to give them a pass because, you know, they're special. They spent that. That's what you're saying. That's what you're saying. You're saying, God gave them a pass? He just gave them a pass. He let, saw what they did to me. And gave them a pass? Watch them destroy our family, our home, embarrass us, got us all looking crazy? And you're just giving them a pass, Lord? Lord, you're going to just give them a pass? That's what some of y'all think. Some of y'all think that God just said, well, I'm still going to give them a pass and bless them. They deserve a loving life and relationship too. They just was in a relationship with you that they would not do right in. And in some way in the back of your mind, you're thinking they did that, but they did that. However, but however, even though they did me dirty, even though they did me cruddy, somehow they doing good. Somehow, the universe has allowed the karma has said, I'm still going to back you. Keisha said it right there. God don't bless that mess. I ain't blessing that mess. The only good life that a narc will ever live. Y'all, I want y'all to hear me good tonight. I want you to hear me good tonight. <clears throat> the only good life a narcissist will ever live is in your head. You hear me? It's in your head. The only good life a narcissist will ever live is in your head. 
That's the only place that they having a good time. That's the only place that they're having a good time. It's in your head. Man, they, I saw them, they was out holding hands, they was doing this, they was doing that, they was, what? The only, only place that they doing good is in your head. And I'm gonna tell you something else. The narcissist is a total, complete, flunky, fraud, perpetrating a fraud, flunky. Do you hear me? Perpetrating a fraud, bum, flunky, you bum, you trifling dog, you bum. The narcissist is a trifling flunky. Do you hear me? They are somewhere getting flunked. They are a flunky. They got you thinking. Now you thinking because they was treating you like that. Because you felt sorry for them. But they made it somewhere else that somebody not feeling sorry for them. See, a lot of y'all think that, oh, they just escaped and they just living high off the hog. They just living their best. They Life couldn't be better for them. Flunky. They somewhere somebody's flunky right now. And, and, and all this, somebody chasing them and trying to make them out to be the world. See, in your mind, you're still giving them credit. You're still thinking, well, I'm attracted to them. So I know they can go out here and just do whatever they want in this world. <clears throat> That's right, Ruth's mama. Aging horrifically. Aging 50 years every two years. <clears throat> absolute flunky. They over there making deals you would never, if you knew the deals that they was making behind the scenes, could God, if you only knew the deal they was making behind the scenes, you would, you would fall out. You would fall out. They got you thinking that so-and-so pressing me, you know, he doing this or she doing that, that I ain't even trying to be with them. And but flunky. I said flunky. They are somewhere laid up. Somebody's flunky. And we be sitting back thinking, nah, they, they. Now they got they got the upper hand on this person right here. This person, they got another narc. Guys, listen, let me say this to everybody again. If that if that new supply know about you, if they knew about you, they getting exactly what they deserve. Listen, you getting exactly what you deserve, <laughs> and they can't bring that garbage back. You can't bring that trash back. No, 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 no. No, that's your trash now. <laughs> you can't bring that trash back. And, and trust and believe that trash can't get back. See, guys, tonight I, I'm going to flex a little bit. I usually don't, but I'm going to flex a little bit because it, it feels incredible to know. It, I'm going to tell you one of the best feelings that I have every single day is knowing. Knowing. It's a difference between thinking and knowing that it ain't a thing in the universe that would make me get back in something like that, with that thing, with that trifling crud ball. It's nothing in this universe that would even sway me in that direction. Guys, y'all, a lot of us are wondering, you know, well, what does it take to get rid of them? When, when can, how can you know? Tell them, Kayla, get them, hit that like button. What y'all doing? What y'all doing? Hit, hit that like button. We, we releasing this narc tonight. Hit that like button. <laughs> Woo! Jay Regan said, I work with the new supply every day. Woo! Jay Regan, thanks for the super chat, champ. Said the eggnog left me for my manager. Two days after the discard. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful question, Jay. Jay, so it looks in your mind, you're thinking, you know what you're thinking? 
you think, man, you gonna run to my manager? In your mind, the first thing you're thinking is his money longer than yours. That's the first thing you're thinking, bro. Let, let me tell you something. I learned from working at a job that, you know, that, that's set up like that, to have management <laughs> and subordinates that usually the subordinates make more than upper management. Depending on the company too, though, you know. But that's just the first thing that comes to you. This dude knew about you. He knows about you. He knows about y'all relationship. She was plotting on him. She, he was plotting on her. All of us going down. All of us going on right behind, right in front of you. You at work chilling, minding your business, trying to do, trying to just stay on your grind. Yeah. There you go. No, 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 but dog, dog, you don't got to do all that. No, you ain't got to be kind. You just keep it. If, if you don't have to deal with him directly, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't even deal with him. I'd be like, dog, we might work together, man, but dog, don't say nothing to me, man. Nothing. I, I ain't got nothing to say to you. You know what I'm saying? And see, that's what we get tripped up at, Jay. We get tripped up because we're trying to be the bigger person. We always, that's our problem. We always trying to be super humble, super grateful. You don't owe them nothing. You don't owe them nothing. This joker right in your face been plotting on your woman since, who knows, probably since the first time he saw her. He been trying to be you since he saw her. And he too stupid to see that if she a roll like that, if she rolls like that, then she rolls like that, champ. Okay. They told he don't even see it. He blinded by her, whatever. He blinded champ, trust me, behind the scenes. It ain't what you think. <laughs> it ain't what you think. See, when they get together initially, when they get together initially, the re guys, let me tell you this. The reason that the narc relationship is so good with you when y'all first meet is because the narcissist, they, they're not happy because they because they met you. Not, not necessarily because they met you. They're happy because they can see you like them and you're in agreement with, with growing in love with them. They're elated. But see, Jay, I'm going to help y'all tonight, champ. <laughs> I'm going to help y'all tonight, bruh. Bruh. <sighs> she cruddy, man. She cruddy. Listen, the one thing that a woman has to be over every man is she has to have integrity. <laughs> If she doesn't have integrity, you can't put her in the woman category. You got to put her in the female category. Okay? So first of all, he crept up on you and he could see. Yeah, I'm going to get that. But that's all he was thinking. Now he's stuck with her. It's your job to make sure he stays stuck with her. Don't, don't think you're just going to do what you want to do with her and then throw her back over here. No, 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 no. Hell no. Keep that trash where you found it. Okay? Make sure you keep it at a distance. He's plotting. He's plotting behind your back. She's plotting behind your back. She cry. He knows she cried. He don't even care. That's why he gonna get it worse. That's why he's going to get it worse. Listen, y'all. Anybody, and I'm telling y'all just because you did the same thing. Anybody dealing with a narcissist, you are gonna spend your time proving to the narcissist that you can 
take everything they can dish. That's what you did. You spent your time in the meantime. You were there in the meantime, just waiting around like, okay, baby, I'm going to show you I can love you. I'm, I'm a, I am love you. I'm, I'm a, what you need? Well, let me help you. Let me this. Let me that. That's all you did. Let me show. Let me this. Let me. I'm going to show you. I can prove it to you. I'm the best thing they ever have to you. Look, watch. I'm, I'm going to this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do everything you want, baby. All you showed the narc was, you showed the narc that, listen, <clears throat> whatever you can dish, I can take. No matter how bad, I can take it. I know I just caught you cheating on me, but we're going to get through it. I'm going to be the bigger person. CJ, that's what I'm talking about. Don't be, stop being the bigger person. Stop being it. Stop being the bigger person. That rat dog, rat trifling crut ball. See, the only reason we get them another chance and another chance and another chance because we're trying to show them again. Our, our, our ego is bruised because they done ran to somebody else. And we're like, hold it. How are you going to do me like So now you're trying to redeem your pride. You're trying to get your pride back because this crunt ball. Listen, it's a crunt ball. Okay? All you're getting out of them is something trifling. That's it. Tell them, tell them, B. Wood, you're just going to get drained of all your positive energy. That's it. You're getting drained of all your positive energy from a credit trifling dog that, that never was on your level and did not deserve you from the beginning. Did not deserve you. And they looking at you like you crazy. They so happy at the in the love bomb. Y'all know what the love bomb is? The love bomb is the, the phase where they trick you. Because it wasn't no relationship for real. They, they knew what they was going to do. They tricked you. And they were saying, hey, you don't, you really don't know I'm a crud ball? What? I am about to destroy you. And they're overwhelmed with happiness. They are feeling so much joy and so much pleasure. And, and, and Jay, that's how she feels right now. She is running over. Her cup is running over with pleasure because she found a sucker that, that was, she found a cold sucker. Man, this dude is a sucker. He, he knew she was with you. He knew it. See, what he think is, he think, oh, man, I, this dude, I, man, I could take his girl. He sized you up from the first time he saw you. He's sizing you up. I could, I could get her. Mm-hmm. He's sizing you up. That's it. And the whole time he was sizing you up, he plotting. He plotting to be with a crud. He don't even know how cruddy. He see how cruddy she is, but he don't believe it. He don't. He see it and don't believe it. He is blinded by the crud. He think he hit the jackpot. Ladies, don't don't y'all men think the same thing? Don't the, when y'all find out that you, you that you that you the ex that the narc ran out here to another woman? Don't she got? Don't that woman other woman just got like you know eyes of nothing but puppy love? Like she hit the jackpot because <laughs> she don't know. She don't know. She just ran into a straight crud ball. And a lot of the women, a lot of times a woman know he a crud ball. That's the thing that trips me up. Y'all know he a crud ball and still be rolling with it like he like you don't know he got a whole woman over here somewhere. He got a woman and he in your face like he not going to do you the same thing to you. Man, we going to dog him tonight, y'all. What you say, Trista's world? Say this ran, man, ruined my life starting all over. 20 moving forward. With my life takes other women. Wow, takes other women out. Thinks I'm gonna see him <clears throat> after and get give him sex. Be being rude, treating me bad. 
It's, it's called running game. Trista, it's called running game. That's all. They run in game. They run in game. Guys, guys, they run in game. They got you thinking that they off done ran off. They done found somebody. They got somebody that done changed their whole world. Their life has new meaning. It has a new purpose now. You know, and it wasn't that way when it was with you. That's what they, that's what they really want you to believe that. Their life wasn't that way. It wasn't, they weren't as connected with, when they as when they were with you. And they go, go to this new person because you think, see, and in your mind, just like in Jay's situation, in the back of your mind, you're thinking, okay, it makes sense. You know, this guy, he's my manager, and he, she moved, like she's stepping up. She's going up to this. No, she's not. No, she's not. <laughs> They, see, hold up, hold up, hold up, Jay. You just that, there. You go. You about to you about to trigger everybody now. You gonna trigger everybody with that one. Make sure that super chat, Lawless. Lawless said, "I vow never again in life, in my life, to let a woman triangulate me with another man." Whew. Boy, y'all better um y'all better take pictures and screenshot this super chat right here. My Lawless said, "I vow." You hear that's a boundary, guys. I vow to never again in my life let a woman triangulate me with another man. Hell no. <laughs> he can have you. I know my value now. Second to none. Second to none. And I'm and I'm man, y'all need to take a screenshot of this super chat right here. Second to none. You you settling for nothingness. You settling for a trifling crack ball. You settling. Running game. That's all they know how to do. Run game. Guys, listen, the narcissist is stupid. Okay? A narcissist is flat out stupid. They're stupid. They're ignorant. You can't make do any. You showed them something that makes sense. You saw yourself. You saw yourself trying to love this person. You gave that person respect, and everybody else don't give them respect. You gave them respect. You gave them respect. You gave them love. You gave them everything you had. You gave them your resources. You gave them your resources, and they didn't appreciate you. The narcissist is a damn fool. A fool. Stupid, if you will. Guys, y'all don't think a narc will jump out there. See, you don't think the narc will jump out there into Never Never Land because you wouldn't. You would, an empath would never, an empath would never go out here and be in a relationship with somebody they love and they're telling that person, I love you, and, they, and you love me, and we're together, and blah, 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 and all of that. A narcissist, guys, you would never be in a loving relationship and just leave. One day, you just up and left for nothing. What, nothing wrong? Just, hey, I just, this person just do it for me. You would never do that. So you assume the narc would never do that. Yes, they would. A lot of y'all don't even understand this, man. A lot of y'all don't even know and don't understand that a narcissist will leave you for anything. They will leave you for nothing. And the reason that it's so easy, y'all hear me? The reason it's so easy for a narc to just up and leave you like you're nothing is because a narc was never really with you in the first place. They were never really with you in the first place. Never. They were never really with you in the first place, guys. Never. They were never with you. Hey, thanks for the super chat, Jay. Whoo. Hey, Druid. Listen. What's up, Patrice Bean? Guys, look at this super chat right here. 
<laughs> read it. Y'all read it and weep. Read it and weep. She doing everything I wanted to do with her, with him now. How many times have y'all seen? How many times have we seen this? How many people have come to this chat and talked about how the narc now? See, guys, and, and we're gonna talk about it now. How many you see this proves? Hey, Sun Cat, this proves to you right now. What's up, James? This proves to you right now that narc was always competing with you. The narc wants to be you. They want to be you. That's why it's so easy for them to run to the other person. Part of the relationship between the narcissist and the new supply is they get to be you now. They have studied you and they feel like mentally, oh, I got it now. I got this figured out. Let me run over here and try it with this person. That's why I say, man, they've got to be cyborgs or robots or something. Because they, because right in the middle of a relationship, they would be like, okay, I know I'm in a rela a loving relationship with you, but now I'm in a love. But look, pow, ping. Now I'm in a love relationship with this person right here. Mm hmm. And we're gonna do all the stuff you was telling me you wanted to do. That's what we doing. Because that guys, all the stuff you're telling them that you want to do, that's what they're telling the new supply. It makes them feel human. <laughs> if you did not see this and live through it yourself, you would not believe it. If you didn't see it for yourself, you would not believe it. You wouldn't believe it. If you didn't see this for yourself, guys, you would not believe this. You wouldn't believe it. I'm you would not believe it. Nobody could convince you that a narcissist is really this stupid. You're thinking to yourself, with everything we just built together, all this time we put in, and you just, what? Let me say this, too. <laughs> Whoo, man, it is a God somewhere. Guys, not only... Are you in disbelief? But everybody that knows you, that knows the Nard, everybody's in disbelief. You think it's just you. What you don't know is the people behind the scenes, the sitting back watching, Jay, family, everybody, you think it's just you going through this. You think that you're the one and you and you feeling those lonely feelings sometimes and that feeling that, you know, that feeling that's over, that's taking over, that's like you feel that that uh that rumination. And it's like a low vibrational energy. Guys, guys, we got to go into that for a second. That low vibrational energy, that's all the narcissist will ever do. Jay, your situation is a perfect case of that low vibrational energy she didn't meet your manager somewhere just out the blue when you and her weren't together she met him while you were with her and they don't care that's low vibrational energy they both everybody around y'all know that's trifling everybody everybody around both of you knows that's trifling. Why would you do something like that? Knowing the type of mess you can start right on your job. Huh? Taja T, can you please inform the family? Huh? Can you please inform the family? Everything you think going on behind the scenes is a lie. Boy, if y'all knew, if y'all, man, I know y'all just listening to me. Let, let me say this, though. Let me say, because I feel good today. <laughs> good God, I feel good today. Guys, when you find out what's going on behind the scenes, man, and I keep telling you, if when you don't want to be bothered with it, when you don't even want to know, that's when it's going to start falling right back in your lap. 
it's going to be falling right back in your life. When you hear how stupid the narcissist truly is, it's going to make you feel some type of way. When you see how stupid they really are, it's going to make you feel some type of way because you're going to, because really guys, we treat the narcissist with a lot of respect. Uh, and, and just, just keeping it 100, we treat them with a lot of respect and dignity. We do, but we give them way more than they deserve. Way more. Would you say Trista? So I'm giving y'all gems, right? He said, stay in my place because I called the new supply so-called friend. Come on. The so-called friend. Hmm? But now he putting her first and not talking to me. Say that hurts cheating on me with escort. And, 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 and Trista, he doing it because he see you not going to cut him off. He knows that he got you in a place where you feel total, complete connection to him. That's a narc ain't doing nothing like this until they know they got you. I know I got you all wrapped up in this. And that's when they start playing. See, a narc ain't gonna start playing with you from the beginning because they know you like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I almost put feelings in this. Nah, they let you develop those feelings. Mm-hmm. And then they when they start playing, it doesn't stop. Trish, the same thing. You in there with a crack ball, man. It's, he out there got escorts. He got escorts that he's calling. And that's fantasy, man. That's all fantasy. That's all fantasy. And it's like he can go live this fantasy with her and then come back to you because you still there. He treating her with respect. You, it, it, I want you to think about this. He treating a, a female that has literally very little to zero self-respect at this point because she, she's sleeping with people strictly for money. She like, I don't want no connection to this dude. I don't want nothing extra. Just give me my money except for more money. And he got a situation with somebody that genuinely cares about him, loves him, and would and giving her resources to him. You're willing to give your resources and everything you got to this guy. But yeah, he's treating somebody who ain't even halfway on your level like like a queen. And I know it hurts. I know it's painful. It's painful, but you got to do something, though. You can't just stand there and watch and wait till he finished to come around because he's not coming around. No, he's not going to come around. He's not going to treat you with respect. Because right now he's doing the dirtiest deed he could possibly do to you. He's comparing you to someone he don't even have no respect for. He does not have respect for her. Okay? He doesn't even respect her. But he's giving her a position over you. Come on. Come on, man. You got you got to back up out of that. You got to back up out of that. My man, Lawless, thanks for that super chat, Lawless. Lawless said, they are clever and sneaky people. Till this day, are blown away at her wickedness. There you go. Hey, Lawless, this, it because because they so crud ball. They so cruddy. They so damn cruddy. You can't believe it. You cannot make sense out of how cruddy these guys. You can't make sense out of nothing they do. And the thing is, guys, when you find the, when you see the reason that they did what they did to you, when you see the reason why, it's going to blow you away. Because when you see the true reason, it ain't going to make sense then either. Guys, usually, that's how the truth works. The truth don't stop because you ain't with the narcissist no more. Don't think that the truth don't want to notify you. 
The truth still is going to find you. When you cut them off, leave them alone, the truth is still going to find you. A lot of y'all out there looking for the truth. That's why you ain't finding it. When I used to look for it, and I wasn't looking at looking forward like I'm looking through her page or, you know, I'm doing this and I'm doing that. No, nah, no, nah, it, it wasn't like that. But honestly, I was hoping, you know, somebody would tell me until I got to the place where I said, man, I don't even need to know that. I don't even need to know what's going on over there. Guys, that's when the universe opened up. That's when the universe opened up. And that's when it opens up. It opens up when you really have made a decision that you're going to do what's best for you. That's when you're going to see. That's when you're going to see what you're trying to see. That's when you're going to see what you really have been trying to see. What you really wanted to know. And I promise you, when the story comes to you, I promise you, when the story comes to you, you ain't going to believe it. Guys, if y'all think y'all don't respect that narc today, when the truth strikes you, when the real truth comes out and and it, and, and it gets to you, I, listen, I promise you, you're going to be not, you're going to be on the floor with disbelief. You're going to be on the floor like ain't no way this crud ball, that cruddy, that low, that dirty, that trifling. You keep thinking that low level energy people are making moves with high level people, high level energy, high vibrational people. They do not. They do not. What you will not see, listen to me, what you will not see a narcissist with, what you will not see, your, the narc that you dealt with or any narcissist, you will not see them thriving with a high vibrational person. And when I say high vibrational, I'm talking about somebody who is loving, self-loving, self-caring, someone who is genuinely just all good people, but they have boundaries. They have boundaries. And that's why you will never see a narcissist with a person like that. You will always see a narcissist with a low vibrational person that is open. You could be a good person, but be on a low vibration because that's how a nar the narcissist got all of us guys, like it or not. You wasn't where you were supposed to be mentally when you met that narc. No, you were not. You were not a self-caring, self-loving person who had boundaries that you would not let, allow people to cross. No. See, that's how you continue your level up. That's how you level up. That's what people are talking about. When they say level up, level yourself up. Yeah, when you create boundaries around yourself, that's how you level yourself up. That's how you take your vibration higher. Because you're saying, you know what? This person really is beautiful or this person is really handsome. And, I, and I'm really attracted to this person. But guess what? They don't really talk. Very, they, I, there's something about them that I don't like. They, you know, they, they tell little lies or they it's something about them that just doesn't really mix with me. See, that's how you level up, guys. When the person's talking on a low level and you're like, eh, I'm going to need the conversation up here if we're going to have a discussion. You got to level up. You're never the new supply. You, if you lost your mind, if you think they dealing with somebody, a uh, high vibrational thinker. The narcissist is with somebody that is low vibrational. That just happens to be a, a nice person or an open person. A somewhat broken person. That's who they with. 
and with somebody that's broken. That's what that's what attracted the narcissist. They was they going after somebody that's broken, somebody that's gonna give them 10 trillion chances. That's it. They ain't interested in nobody who going who gonna chop them off when they as soon as they catch them wrong. They wouldn't waste their time with somebody like that. The narc would not waste their time with somebody that they knew was going to just cut them off as soon as they start showing their hand. The narcissist wants to be around somebody that's broken, somebody that they can use, somebody they're going to manipulate, somebody that's going to always take it on the chin, somebody that's always going to apologize and be the bigger person. That's who they, that's who they with. Somebody who's out to prove how much punishment they can take. That's all. You y'all sitting here worrying about them being with this person. That, listen, they with that person over there because they see loser inside that person. They see this person gonna give me a trillion chances. You know why? Because they don't have any boundaries up. They don't really love their self. Yeah, guys, it's, and listen, it's, sometimes it's going to hurt even us having these conversations. When they met you, that's who you were. You were a open book who ready to give anybody a chance. How can you put value on something that, that anybody can attain? You can't put value on that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I guess you can put on some things like air. Everybody has air, but that's different. We don't value it because, well, we value it because it keeps us living, but we don't really value it because, hey, look at the pollution. <laughs> look at how we live it. Y'all get what I'm saying, though. Woo, Lawless said they thought she was a decent person. Yeah, they thought wrong. <laughs> they thought wrong y'all thought the narc was a decent person we all thought that mess hey latecomers hit the like button coming all up in here hit it that's right mercy raise your vibration that's what keep them cowards away from you in the first place raise your vibration y'all guys i don't even worry about being approached by my ex i don't I don't. I don't. Because she knows she could. She know damn well. She know. She know. And she know I wouldn't even, I wouldn't spit on her. She was walking on, broke, walk past me on fire. She knows she couldn't get back with me. She knows she couldn't have a conversation with me. <laughs> she know it. She know it. But let me tell y'all this. Even though she knows it, she probably watching. Even though she knows it, Crut ball, trifling, crut, you trifling, crut ball. She knows it, but it's something in them. I told y'all they're stupid. It's something in them that's so stupid that somehow she's going to still try to find a way to ease into a conversation. <laughs> Who would the life of a loser? Listen, y'all. Listen, y'all, y'all don't even y'all don't even want to know how trifling her story is. Good gracious, she would she would go hide under the ocean if she if she knew what I knew about her. She would probably go to move to another country somewhere. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my guys, guys, y'all guys, y'all be thinking. Y'all really, we be thinking that the narc done, they, they had, we be thinking like the only way you would do all the crazy stuff you've done is it got to make sense somewhere. It got to, right? It got to make sense somewhere. I'm here to tell y'all, no, it doesn't. The further you get down that rabbit hole, the more you know. The more you know, the narc is truly a damn fool. 
Now, let me say, I said it first. The narc is truly a damn fool. And they doing it. Oh, man. <laughs> man, when you see what they doing it for, the narcissist is a cold, trifling flunky. Thanks for that super chat, Tefano Fox. Hey, Miss Carter. <laughs> Woo. Oh my goodness. Jay said my manager just got two, get just got divorced, two kids, PTSD, etc. He getting exactly what he deserved, champ. He thinking that, because that's the same thing that probably happened to him. So he think that he's doing it to you. That's all. He think he's doing to you, and he think he's paying somebody back. What's up, Miss P? He think he he thinks that he's doing the same thing to you, champ. That's what he thinks. He truly believes it. He truly believes he's doing to you what was done to him, and that's how he's making that make sense in his life. Cause see, if he really was about anything and respected marriage and honor and relationships. Guys, you see, even with men, there's a line you don't cross. There's a line you don't cross. Guys, I'm going to tell y'all, when, when I got divorced, it, married women was the most that was coming at me. It was mostly married. I, was, I couldn't believe it. And I, I ain't did nothing with none of them. Can't nobody wife said she been with me. Nobody, not why they've been married. No, nah. no, sir. Not happening. Never have, never will. Because guys, once you've gone through that, you, you, you just have a different respect for it. You just like, it's like, man, I would never, I would never destroy my life like that. Go out here and be with somebody's wife. With all these single women, I'm going I'm to pick somebody who got a wife. I'm going to pick a married one. Ain't no way. Ain't no way because I see, I see what happened to some, you know, to some of the fools that dealt with my ex. <laughs> Guys, the karma is 100. Do you hear me? Man, y'all not feeling me tonight, man. Y'all not feeling me tonight. The karma is on 10,000, okay? It ain't just hitting the narc. It ain't just hitting the narc. The, the karma ain't just hitting the narc. It's getting a new supply, too. Whoo! Misha T. Mwah. Thanks for the super chat, Misha. Misha said, that tormenting spirit that tormented you is now... Good God! Oh, my, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I need y'all to stop what you're doing. I need you to stop what you're doing. Because Misha ain't playing in here tonight. <laughs> Misha is not playing in here tonight. That's tormenting spirit. Y'all know what she's talking about. It ain't nobody in this chat right here right now that don't know what this woman talking about. That spirit of torment. Oh, you know what it feel like. Because that's the one you're feeling right now. You know what she's talking about. That tormenting spirit that tormented you is now reversed. Depression, hurt, all the pain, all of the confusion, the pure, utter madness. Good God. Let me take a picture of this one right. Hey, Misha. Hey, Misha. Misha. Salute. I just got the salute because, because yeah, you just peeled my wig with that one. Good God Almighty. Let me get that one myself. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That spirit, I got to do a video on that right there. Yes, indeed. Yes, I am going to do a video on that one right there. Yes, I am. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Patrice Bean, mwah. thanks for that cash app. Kathleen McLaren, 
Mwah. Thanks for that cash app, Kathleen. Ellen, Mwah. thank you for that cash app. And Marilyn and Connie, Mwah. thank y'all. I appreciate them cash apps. Yes, indeed. Listen, y'all, we're not moving past this one right here for a minute. Because <laughs> this one, I needed to see that one right there. Hey, Misha, thank you. We, we all needed to see this right here. That torment, the spirit of torment. That's what you feel when you with one of them. You feel like, man, damn, man. Like every day you wake up like you under attack. Depression, pain, hurt. You want to cry. You want to fall apart. You're trying to hold it together and you can't hold it together. And you wonder, what does it take? What does it take? For me to get beyond this, what does it take for me to feel better? Because you was obedient. That spirit done flipped and went right to the person that it was going, that it was meant for. And not only is the narc feeling dealing with the torment, listen here. Listen here. Not only is the narc dealing with torment. Mm-mm. They ain't getting it like you got it. No, no, no. See, because they were purposeful about what they did to you. So you know how they get it back? They get it back tenfold. Yeah, yeah, they get that torment, that depression, that pain, that anxiety. They get it back tenfold. Oh, they're getting it back 10 times what they gave you. See, that's what you're not seeing. Y'all think they sleeping good somewhere. <laughs> that knock ain't had a good night's sleep in so long. They don't know what a damn good night's sleep is. When, oh, good God. When the narc fails, when the narcissist fails the mission, Satan has set up whew, when the narcissist fails the mission that Satan has set up, you best believe that it's reversed. When that narcissist did not destroy you, you listen. When they did not destroy you. Hey guys, listen, y'all, y'all need to stop playing, man. Y'all, a whole lot of y'all need to stop playing. Cause see, you you in torment, and you know why? And you know what? Just reading this, just reading what this message is saying right here showed me a lot. That's why I felt that torment while I was with the narc. I felt that pain. I felt that depressed spirit. The spirit of, I mean, that NPD. Guys. You're going to feel depression. You're going to feel pain. You're going to feel confusion. It's just going to be the worst of the worst. And that's what you're going to feel for the entire time. That's what you're going to feel the entire time while you're dealing with them. Because that's, the, that's what God is trying to give to this devil. God is going to give it to this devil. But as long as you're standing in the way, you gonna get it too. Misha, good God. Hey, Misha, that came from the heart right there. That came from the heart right there. That tormenting spirit, that spirit of turmoil. I mean, you feeling like you in turmoil. You can't think straight. You can't eat. You can't drink. You can't sleep. You can't do anything you're just upset all the time every day you're trying to put it together you you can't get it together you're confused you've been abused listen here and it goes right to the devil tenfold tenfold can y'all imagine dealing with what you're dealing with right now but it's increased 10 times increased 10 times Guys, that's what makes a narcissist run to a new supply like that. Because they on fire. They on fire. 
They ran to you. Now you starting to question them. So they don't have you trying to save them the way you were. Now they gotta run, they gotta run to somebody to give them some relief. They like, man, let me find somebody that don't know me, that don't know how crut ball, how dirty I am. That's what they saying. Let me find somebody that don't know how trifling I am. Mm, mm, mm. Cali Finn fan said, I started to check out once. I suspected things slowly. His mask slipped, and he became someone I didn't even know. Rude, disrespectful, foul. Yeah. He, he met somebody at the store, met somebody new, and now he dreaming about that person. That's all it is. Guys, when they're not just dogging you out of nowhere, you, you're starting something that ain't even – Look, now when I'm saying this, because I hope y'all get right in their face because they in there with you right now, y'all watching the video every time. Every time y'all get in an argument, this is what I want you thinking. Every time y'all get in an argument, every time y'all get in an argument is because they they trying to they trying to get with somebody new. They done met somebody and they trying to pursue it. Talking about all narcs don't cheat. The hell they don't. Yeah, show us one that don't then. All right, that does stuff be tripping me up. No, not all of them. Stop, man. That's right, Cherie. Say, that's how I am now. Don't, none, it ain't none of my business. But it's going to fall in your lap. Watch. Just watch. Watch. Man, if y'all, when you learn how to sit back and watch, and watch, it's going to fall in your lap. It's going to fall on you. I know how that is, though, guys. I know it's easy to say that. I know how easy it is to say to just leave them alone. Don't, don't bother them. Don't, don't ask any questions. Don't, guys, I, I've got to, I got to a place where I never, I, don't, I told my son. I told my son, dude, I don't want to know none of your mother's business. You go over her house, I don't want to know nothing. I don't want you to say her name. I just don't say anything. And we get along. Everything is fine. That's it. That was the message. And he and he stayed true to it. He, he never told me anything. He never told me anything. Because I just don't want him involved any further. Never told me anything. Now the rest of the world tell me everything. <laughs> oh, oh my God, guys, guys, guys. If you only knew the terms that the narc has reduced themselves to, you are going to choke. I'm telling you, it is going to literally choke you when you see how much of a flunky the narc is. <laughs> When you see the deal that they have settled for, guys, it's it's gonna bust you in your cranium. You're gonna just be like, "It's no way. It's no way that this just happened. It's no way you destroyed your family to do that. Over. It's no way you did that. It's no way. It's no way you destroyed a incredible what, what the best thing that ever happened to this flunky. <laughs> it's no way." It's no way you did, which there's no way. Guys, I'm telling you, that's how you're going to think. That's how you're going to think. Woo, what's up, Dr. T, PhD? Mwah, thanks for the super chat. She said, narcs are double-minded. Y'all hear this? Man, this chat is on fire tonight. The narcs are double-minded and unstable in all of their ways. Do y'all hear that? James 1 and 8. They trifle. See, see, see. <laughs> Man, see, when you start going into the Bible, and the Bible is quoting you, that double-minded, 
unstable in all of their ways. You thought that the narc had something going on. You thought that this was a sharp individual. You did. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. We all did. <laughs> you thought this person had so much potential. You did. And that's what kept you with them. That's what got you there. You saw potential. You saw potential. And as you saw potential, as you saw potential, you started thinking to yourself, like, wow, I, I, I'm going to do this for you. And then we don't have to worry about that. And, it, and see, you started, you started solving their problems, not even noticing that as you solve their problems, you start gaining problems. You're taking on their issues, and now they're on you. Now you run around here sweating, trying to figure everything out. Whoo, man, when you go in the Bible and talk about this fool, goodness gracious. Guys, 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 what you think is going on behind the scenes, man, could God Almighty. And you know what? Part of it is going to make you laugh. When you see what really is going on behind the scenes, part of it is going to make you laugh. And then the other side of you, it's going to make you mad. I'm telling you. I'm telling y'all, part of it is going to make you laugh because you're going to laugh at them like, what? Are you serious? And then the other part is going to make you mad like, like for real? You just, you just stupid. The only thing, guys, that's all they're going to leave you with. That's all they're going to leave you with. That's all you're going to be like, man, this person is really stupid. And I try not to use that word unless I'm talking about a narcissist. Because that's the only thing that you can really, really look at that will explain to you the level. Something that really will explain to you the level that they go to. That's right, Sun Cat. You idealize and enable them and get nothing but breadcrumbs. You get nothing but breadcrumbs from them. They reactive anger and they're going to blame you. They're going to dog you, cheat on you, and then tell you it's your fault that they did it. They running out there to new supply, and they don't even have a clue. They don't have a clue. Guys, y'all, a lot of us, all of us, whoo, mm, mm, mm. all of us, we went for it. We went for it. We truly went for it. We, we sat back. We, we mm, 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 gave them 10 trillion chances. Did everything we could do. Whoo, man, oh, man. <laughs> Trista said, he makes me feel like there's something wrong with me. Mm, for calling her, he said, I need help. So I do y'all start school. I got something off my record. Called God in. It's at the end of the month. Okay. Okay. Rebuild your life. That's all. That's all. Rebuild your life. Rebuild your life. God, and, and that's the thing. That's the thing that most of us don't see. You already took their hardest blow. You've already shut the devil down. You've already won. You've shown them that I took your best shot. That's all you had. Now you got to look at me. Guys, the narc got to watch you for the rest of their life. Some of y'all caught that. 
the narcissist has to watch you for the rest of your life. Guys, I want y'all to think about something real quick. How do y'all think that a narc feels watching me, watching my life, <laughs> going from doing anything I could do for them to doing me and succeeding in everything? And the best ain't even here, ain't even close to it. I ain't nowhere near where I'm going. And the narc got to sit back and watch all of it. The narc watched my videos crying. <laughs> Whoo, boy, talking about stupid. I wouldn't even torture myself like that. I wouldn't. I would, would you, what, you think I'm going to let up? I'm going to stop? Whoo, man. Y'all, I remember those days. Narc tell, tell, used to tell me you deserve it. Yeah, I dogged you and you deserve it. <laughs> Whoo, boy, oh boy. Guys, listen, I'm here to tell you. Go on the other side. That's why I guess they say heaven is on earth. <laughs> because guys, when you when you when you get past it and you know you're past it, and you see, and you get to see that the narc wasn't as smart as they claim they were. When you get to see that not only are they not that sharp mentally, whew, everything they every listen, listen. I want to say this straight to the narc. Everything you do in your life, you're gonna fail. Except losing. You're gonna lose every time. You are a failure by nature. Satan is your father and you following in his footsteps of failure. That's your future. Your future is failure. That's to the nurse. That's strictly for the narcissist, y'all. <laughs> Everything the narcissist touch is going to fail. Even when it looked like it didn't fail. It's a failure. Everything. Did you hear me? See, y'all think, y'all think that sometimes, oh, they got a new job, though. You don't know what they're getting set up for. <laughs> you don't know what they see. That's the problem with us. We think that because they get some, oh, they got a new car. You don't know what the narc is getting set up for. That's why you're tripping. You don't know what's coming to that trifling, dirty, rotten, wretched, crut ball. <clears throat> Whoo, y'all hear this question right here? Thanks, Aquarian. Mwah. Thanks for that super chat. Aquarian said, I saw that with me. She said, foolish, backwards, walking giraffe. <laughs> Aquarian asked the question, how debilitating is no contact for the narcissist? Ah, uh, Listen, Aquarian, I think I've been no contact for a little over three years. And the narcissist has just been reduced to telling her flunky story, her miserable life story to anybody that will listen, <laughs> that she thinks she can get some, some mercy from. When you go no contact, what you're saying is, I win. You're saying, you don't control me like you thought you did. You thought you control me, and now you have no access to me. None. You reduced something that should have never got into your life. You have given them the exit. No contact means I serve me. I love me. My collection, my connection with God is solid. No contact means I respect myself enough 
to cut off what the bad that's in my life. I was strong enough. I'm I'm, I'm going to brag on myself tonight, y'all. It means I was strong enough. I was strong enough, and I had the willpower that even though emotionally I wanted to try again and try again, but I overcame that emotion. I overcame the emotion and did what I had to do to win. And I won. I won. No contact means it means you got to call my friends and family to see how I'm doing. <laughs> you got to you got to still check with other people, you know. And they tell they telling you they telling you how I'm doing. You see how I'm doing. <laughs> you don't check it. Yeah, they go Google your name and see, guys. When you Google people and stuff like that, certain things come up. Their worst nightmare. <laughs> Their worst nightmare. They look at you when you go no contact, and it's cold. It's very, very cold. It's brutal. And remember, this this hurts ten times worse to a narcissist because a narcissist has this overinflated sense of entitlement over you. Yeah, their sense of entitlement towards you is that they're better than you, that they're bigger than you, that they that they deserve more than you, that they that they should have and they should they should be in control of everything. Okay? That's how they feel. That they're over you. They feel like, wow, something must be wrong with you to go no contact with me. Come on, man. You, you, you. Cause see, the narc knows that you really love them. They do. That's why they're so shocked. See, a lot of times y'all don't even understand. The narcissist, for y'all who everybody went no contact. The narcissist is in shock. Do you hear me? The narcissist is in shock that you went no contact. How dare you go no contact? Who, who told you such? No contact? How? Why? How could you do such a thing? When you love me, you told me you love me. The narcissist is confused, completely confused. They don't, and they don't have a clue, guys. Who is, oh yeah, TJ and Amy, yeah, man. <laughs> Y'all see that? Good morning, America. Y'all see that? Both. Both of them. I, t I told y'all. And, and see, y'all gonna give me my credit for this. Y'all gonna give me my credit for this. I told y'all, narcs don't just want to destroy one household. I'm gonna do a video on that this weekend. I've been meaning to get to it. It's been so busy, but I'm gonna get to it this weekend. I'm off this weekend. I'm going. I'm gonna get caught up on a whole lot of videos. TJ and Amy on Good Morning America. Both of them, married couple. Both of them, and they have work every day, and all of a sudden, the families that they have at home, you know, a second seat to, you know, we 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 better off with one another, and it's easy to speak against relationships like that because they can't last two narcs together. Now nah, they look innocent. But people with real dignity don't, don't even act like that. TJ, yeah, he look clean cut. You know, nice looking dude and, you know, got his thing together. Same thing with Amy. Pretty, she's, you know, she's good looking. 
still got her thing together? Yeah. Left her husband. Like it wasn't nothing left. Hey, baby, I ain't coming home. And, and TJ did the same thing. Well, you know, you can't help who you love. How your wife feel about that? How do your husband feel about that? Huh? Well, we went to work one day. Like that old Babyface video, Love make things, Makes Things Happen. Uh, Babyface and Pebbles. Boy, oh boy. If that's love, I don't want none of it. You can, and I remember and them lyrics in the song, boy, that joint right there. Babyface, boy, you hurt some people with that one, champ. The song is called Love Makes Things Happen. And the lyrics are something like, you can be a, you can be a married man with a good wife and good intentions. And something, they said, but I swear that don't mean nothing. Because love puts you in a spell. No, no, it doesn't. Love don't put you in no spell like that. Love, that ain't love. Love ain't about to come. Wait, I want y'all to hear me. Love is not going to come to your house. Get in your bed with you and your spouse that you are married to. Love ain't coming in your life and you already married and in a relationship. Oh, and I found real love. If that was the case, y'all, we wouldn't have a thing called marriage because we would all be used to just trading off, you know. Okay, it's my turn with you. Okay, it's your turn with this person. It's your turn. That's all it would be. Ain't no love in that. Both of these two people, they work together. So what that tells you the whole thing right there. They done been trying to get at each other the whole time. And guess what? Y'all think that they waited till they got divorced before they start sleeping together and all that? Don't start having sex and everything? Anybody? <laughs> oh, man. Because we know better. We know better. We know better. They, they've been humping. They've been humping. I told y'all, a narcissist don't want to just break up your house. They want to break up two families. That devil want a two for one. Yeah, that's what they got with TJ and Amy. A two for one. You say the scalp look like raisins, Leandra? Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> Whew, man, oh man. Oh my goodness. What's up, Infinite Divinity? That's right. Some people reject knowledge. That's one way you know. <laughs> Tyree said, that was a punch in the gut. I was treating her like a queen. 85% of, <clears throat> of the city was like. <clears throat> Who, her? <laughs> wow. There you go, champ. You, you going to counseling for that? You, man, that's how they going to leave you. That's how they going to leave you. That's how they're going to leave you. I'm telling y'all, man. They're going to leave y'all like, like, whoa. you going to be like, whoa, you did what? Man, you, you ain't going to believe it. I'm telling y'all, man, when y'all see what's going on on the other side, you ain't going to believe it. You are not going to believe it. I'm telling you. So 1M. Hey, Demetria. <laughs> One of them said they like the liquid metal Terminator cop from Terminator 2. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, man, I'm going to tell you, man, it feels so good. It feels so good. 
You, you don't, you ain't got to be all in a business. It's going to come to you. Trust it. Tr truth going to come to you, guys. It's going to. The truth is going to get to you. Y'all see what happened to that girl? She went to, took, to, took her so-called friends on vacation and what they did to her. The truth is going to make itself known, guys. Igniter's prayer time ministry said, have you seen them when they collapse? Man, and you know what? I tell y'all all the time, I don't even want to see it. I don't. I don't even want to see it. I don't even want to know when it happened. I don't want to know nothing about it. Y'all hear what Ignited Prayer uh, Time Ministry said in here in the chat? Have you seen the narcissist when they collapse from all the ugliness? Guys, y'all think that somebody really, y'all really, guys, we be thinking that, you know, that they can go out there and get whoever they want because they had us, you know. But what you don't know is, is that, you know, we think they like robots. They're not robots, guys. They're not. They're very, very dysfunctional people. Now, don't start feeling sorry for them. Because you know what that'll bring you. They're very dysfunctional. And guys, not only are they dysfunctional, but guys, they, they listen, they are human and they can only take but so much. I'm about to say something that's really going to blow your mind. Y'all ready? The narcissist is so foul and so funky that they can only take but so much of what they've passed out. They can only take so much of the karma back. They so crut ball, so trifling. Because you know you get it back tenfold. You don't just get back what you gave. You get it back in abundance. They can only handle with so much. That's why they got to have so many people. So everybody's helping them. Everybody got to help the narc. Everybody. Guys, everybody got to help the narc. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, Cherie. Mwah. Hey, Felicia. Felicia said she flipped the switch off and shut it down. Woo. Hey, Misha, you set this joint on fire tonight. That spirit of turmoil. Good God. Man, that spirit of turmoil, man. Y'all. Y'all know what that feel like. How it make you feel knowing that narc is getting everything they did to back in for. They getting it too. It ain't say it's limited to tenfold. It's going to be at least tenfold. Igniter's press time ministry said, after a hoover, I took him back. So he was so low spiritually near death. See, he came right back to you just to steal your energy again. Just to stick, just to keep back. And that's, that's exactly what I was just talking about. They're constantly getting that karma. We believe that, no, nah, they like, you know, they like, you know, they can just get up and Rejuvenate like everybody else. No, they cannot. Zing Bio said they cheat for fuel. Yeah, they cheat for anything. A narc cheats for anything because they trifling. The narcissist kryptonite said the only way that they do cheat is if it stopped working, that, or if they don't cheat. <laughs> Only way they don't cheat is if they can't. That's it. 
either they don't have the opportunity or their tools not working. Something ain't right. That's the only way. And that's just for a time. That's just for a time. They still gonna figure a way out because that's what they are. That's what they are. <laughs> Woo, sick Tom said they get supply so easily because they have no problem being a fake flunky. That's who exactly who they are. You guys, a lot of us don't want to believe it. We don't want to think that the person we was dealing with was really on that level of being such a flunky, such a weirdo. They are such flunkies. They, they, I mean, just on a flunky level, on the bottom of your shoe level flunky. Mm, mm, mm. Whoo, good God. Boy, I'm going to tell y'all, man. I'm, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you everything you think they doing. If, if you think that they got something going on, man, you wrong. It ain't what you think. Joey said she was like getting to the bottom of the Cracker Jack box. And not even finding the prize. You done went all the way to pulled all the cracker jacks out looking for your prize, and there's nothing in there. Bruce mom said, I love my life without that loser. That piece is priceless. Taja T said, I will never fall for potential again. Never. Who, Misha? Hey, Misha, you got me stuck tonight. I ain't lying. You got me stuck tonight. I'm, I said, whoa, what? <laughs> Say what? <laughs> that torment spirit that tormented you is now reversed. Could God, depression, hurt, anxiety, hopelessness, sadness every day it's like you listening to the the saddest song you ever heard in your life and it's just rerun all day in your head the, and then and then the love songs that you that you sitting back listen to the old love songs you're like my god you can't even listen to them no more because they just make you depressed just know just know when the narc fails the mission, when Satan fails that mission, all of everything he tried to bring to you goes back to him tenfold. Now, that's at least tenfold. It's not restricted to just tenfold, okay? Because karma can just hook him up and say, well, look, I know you're guaranteed tenfold back, but I'm going to hook you up with 20. <laughs> I'm going to hook you up with 20. Leandro said, yes, hurry. Oh, that happened to me the last couple of days. He keep arguing with me over nonsense, over nothing, nothingness. That's right, Cherie. We were all duped. That's it. Oh, Igniter's prayer time is that I'm praying for each and every one of us. Hannah, and heal our inner child for the wounds. Severe soul ties, break generational curses, raise your vibration. And don't accept. Woo! Don't accept. Oh, they got potential. <laughs> it don't mix. It don't work. Potential don't work, y'all. It don't work. Woo, Lisa J got 75 days in. Mm, mm, mm. Connie, we gave him 50 11 chances. We gave him 50 11 chances. We done gave him 50 11 chances. 
We done, like, we done gave the Narcs all they getting, y'all. We gave them all that they're getting, okay? They ain't getting no more. They ain't getting no more. Man, oh, man, guys, you don't got to be there. Listen to me. You ain't got to be there to witness it. You don't. I, listen, I'm telling you, I'm giving you my word. Do you, listen, God going to show you what you need to see. Just be obedient. Just do what you're supposed to do. I know it's going to be rough. It's going to be rough because it's emotional. You're dealing with something emotional. I'm telling you, you're going to get your confirmations. If y'all think that the person you treated so well that you were willing to give any and everything to just walked out your life out the door with somebody else after they done dogged you because they didn't just leave they dogged you first okay that's right ldb said eventually you will not desire to talk to them and that's what i'm saying that's what i'm saying when you get to that point that's when you know Woo, boy, that's when you know, that's when you can see the other side of that mountain. <laughs> you like, man, I don't got nothing to say to that fool. I don't have nothing to say. <laughs> what? Like, man, beat it. Dr. T, PhD. Mwah. Thanks for the super chat. Dr. T said, biblical reference for God allowing the tormentors to be tormented. Hmm? Well, what's, what's that? <laughs> what's that? What'd you say? <sighs> God is allowing the tormentors to be tormented. And see, you know, God is such a good God that he, he gonna hook them up. He gonna give them that extra. See, God going to give you that extra, you know, oh, man, you you dog, you was cheating on your husband or you was dogging your wife, lying to your wife, stealing from her, cheating on her, beating on her. You was cheating on your man. You was stealing his money. See, God going, see, God is the type of God where he want to give you that back, but he going to get back to you tenfold minimum. It ain't, he don't, re, he, he ain't required to keep it at tenfold. See, you can just keep on stepping it up. Yeah, man, that's the good thing about God right there. Mm. <laughs> <Whew. laughs> oh my goodness. Yes, indeed. Not no contact is game over it's over it's over this game is over whoo tyree said for real fam remember coming home to them we were arguing till two in the morning again or something it's got to be something it's just wednesday that's how they roll. That's how they roll, man. That's how they roll, y'all. That's how this thing is. Guys, we are caught up. Y'all be thinking that God don't forget about me. I ain't going to lie to y'all, man. I would have a problem with God if, if, if God just let something like that in my life, and I know I was disobedient. I ain't going to put it on God because I know I was disobedient because God was showing me, like, what are you doing, boy? <laughs> I know some days God was like, God was slapping me from behind, like, man, what are you doing? What are you doing? No, I said no. And I hit the override button. you like, nah, 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 we're going we gonna to work it out. I ain't, I'm, nah, I'm going to be the bigger person. Man, God was wearing me out. Dr. T said, y'all better look at Matthew 18, 
verses 35 through 34 and 35 god allowing the tormentors to be tormented we had to look that one up the tormentor will get tormented mm -hmm. matthew 18. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Woo, in anger, his master handed him over to the jailers Woo, to be tortured until he should pay back all he owed. Whoa. I'm going to read that one. <laughs> Dr. T, PhD. Yes, indeed. I'm looking at the New King James Version here. Matthew 18, 35, 34 and 35 says, And his master was angry and delivered him to the torturers until he should pay all that was due to him. So my heavenly father also will do to you. If each of you from his heart does not forgive this brother, his trespasses, <laughs> forgive him his trespasses. Whew. Look here, y'all. We're not going to stop. I'm going to let God do what he do. I'm going to stay in my place. See, when you just go no contact, that's your way of saying, I did everything I could do. I'm going to let God handle that. Lord, you go ahead and handle that, man, because I, I can't figure it out. And, and you know what's best. You know what's best. I, I done tried to figure it out, and I ain't trying to figure it out no more. My man, Lawless, thanks for that super chat, Chan. Lawless said, no contact proves. You are a bona fide soldier. Salute. Because, guys, it ain't easy to do that. It's not easy to do that. That's the first part right there. It's like jumping in cold water, man. And you know it's cold. You're like, whoo, I'm cold now. And I'm that water cold. I ain't going to be able to get warm. Mm -mm. <laughs> LDB said, damn the narcissist's existence. That's right. Team, my heart for Jesus. Woo, there you go. Yes, indeed. Guys, listen. This devil, y'all, you, you can never think, never put yourself in a mental place where you're thinking that this devil wins because it ain't gonna happen it ain't gonna never happen it is never going to happen it is never going to happen they, they can't win that's not what they made of <laughs> so they made like a snail hard on the outside but soft on the inside as slow as hell just stupid that's all i can say about a nerd a fool a fool they just foolish they do foolish things and they bragging about how, how foolish they are they think it's funny and cute to do things that's foolish guys i'm, I'm you know the main reason that i really 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 go in about you know people destroying the family is because see that's what you when you're looking at how bad the world is the thing that really makes the world bad is to see families can't stay together you can't keep a, a relationship together because this devil is working diligently 
and got people. The devil got his minions out here doing his work, keeping us in bad situations. And you don't find out till you're in it. You don't find out. That's the thing. You don't just get to see it from a long distance away. No. Nah. A lot of times y'all don't know you with one of them things until you've been with it for a little while. And it done showed you who it is. You ain't looking for the small things. You're looking for how you can build with them instead of saying, whoa, 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 you know what? Something about this ain't easy enough. Love is easy, y'all. True love is easy. Jay Regan said, 2023 is on the way. Woo! Your best right advice for the from discard. Jay Regan, my best, my best for the discard is no contact, champ. I know it's difficult, man. I know, but but I promise you, I done been where you at. And if I could show you how the story ends, it will blow you away, man. If I could show you how the story is, it will blow you away, man. No contact. And I'm saying no contact because no contact means that, see, what you're not seeing right now is her discarding you to run over here to somebody else you know. Bruh. She going to be talking to him about you. Don't see in your mind, you're thinking they ain't thinking about you. They ain't talking about you. They ain't saying nothing. In her mind, all day, every day, she thinking about you and what she did to you. And every time she deals with him, she thinking about you. Cause she know how she met him. It ain't nothing in that situation that's clear. It's simple and it was done to destroy you. And you right here, champ. They sitting there watching you every day. When is he going to fall apart? Every time she see you, every time he see you, they wondering when you going to break down. When you going to break down and start calling me back, begging me to come back. That's what she thinking like. When are you going to break? Did I break you? Hold up. Let's go back to it. Let's go back to it again. Because she want to know if she broke you. Did she was able to break you down? But because she was not able to do the job, since she failed the mission, the torment goes back to her. Yeah, you feeling some type of way, and I get it. You feeling some type of way, you feeling that torture. You feeling it? Jay, it's a good thing that you're feeling it, though, champ. It's a good thing that you're feeling that torture. You know why? It's a good thing that you're feeling that torture because, number one, let, let's keep it 100 here. You knew what you was dealing with with her. Bruh, this ain't the first time you've been suspect about her. Mm -mm, they don't work like that. Narcs are trifling. And for her to make a trifling move like that right there, bro, yeah, you pretty much was like, hey, man, but she a cutie, and, you know, she know you was falling all over. But that's all she bring to the table, man, looks. That's it. She bringing looks. That's it. You need more than that out here nowadays, bro. I know you was willing to work with it, you know. That's why she picked you. <laughs> that's why she picked you man because you was willing to work with it but then you start requiring stuff you start putting up boundaries you start getting fed up a little tired of some of the stuff you seeing yeah you know what that does that that makes them antsy you know and they can see okay this ain't gonna last too long this ain't going to last too long because you're starting to put up boundaries. This ain't going to last too long. What's up, Finego? 
man. Going into 2023, get focused, man. Get focused on how you going to love Jay. Yeah. What's up, uh, Peaches? What's up, Peaches? Hey, Michelle. You need to get focused on 2023 in your life. What you going to do for you in 2023? Yeah. Don't don't make for 2023 about getting over the dark. Don't don't not don't don't make no whole year about no mess like them. That soft running dog doo doo. Okay, no, we ain't about to make no whole year dedicated to getting over no narc. Hell no. Nah, we ain't gonna take that long. No sir. Twenty twenty three is about you getting back in the driver's seat in your life. Okay. Yeah. We're to the point where you can see that, wow, look at this. Look what I did. Wow. I got out of that. Something that was holding me back. Something that was keeping me from smiling. Yeah, you remember all the nice things you wanted to do? That now she got the time to do, right? But it was stupid when you wanted to do it. See how she wanted to be you the whole time? Dude, she doing this to hurt you. She doing it to hurt you, man. What's up, Donna Hill? She doing it strictly to hurt you, man. That's it. She doing it strictly to hurt you. We ain't wasting no whole year. No, sir. We ain't wasting no whole year waiting for her to get it together. Trying to get over that mess. Nah. Nah, we're going to get you up and out of that, champ. We're going to get you right. Yeah. Guys, a lot of y'all still doing it, too. A lot of us are still out here doing everything we can for everybody except for you. You ain't, well, AJ, when was the last time you did something for the man in the mirror, champ? Hmm? When was the last time the man in the mirror was your number one priority? Your happiness. When was the last time you seen that? Hey, Red Diamond. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the super chat. Straight up family, when, when was the last time you did something that made you happy? Something that made you smile? <laughs> Dr. T said, we must call a thing a thing. <laughs> Whoo, it is what it is. Nobody can build with an art. You can't. You ain't building nothing positive. You ain't building nothing positive with them things, man. Nothing. You ain't building nothing positive. Guys, we are approaching a new year. We're approaching a new year. And guys, we have more information. We have more confirmation. Okay? We have more confirmation than we've ever had before. We have more confirmation than we've ever had before. For everybody to think that narc doing it. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not letting y'all go to sleep thinking that that narc is somewhere happy. Man, you lost your mind. Well, they, it's at the beginning of their relationship and they're in the love bomb stage and it's all good right now, blah, blah, blah. And it's not good right now. There ain't no such thing as a good relationship with a narc. You remember what happened when you tried to love the narcissist, guys. You remember what they did to you? But you think they're giving a new supply pass or something? <laughs> Y'all see how we think? They must gave them a pass because I tried to treat you like that and you wasn't having it. And now they having it? Come on, man. Thanks for that super chat, Demetri uh, Demetria. Demetria said, I think of those, I think of the demons 
like an opposing team. They want to know your playbook. And when they think they know it, whew, you come out with the trick play and win. That's how you got to do. Demetria, that, that is such a good analogy because the trick play is no contact. See, they think you're going to keep playing the game. They think that you're going to keep playing the game. They think you're going to outdo them. See, like my man Jay tonight, was he's like, he's just going through it. You know, it's fresh for him. So he thinking how he can offset the next play. The way you offset the next play is stop playing. Listen, the narcissist has to. Listen, the narcissist has to. They have to come and use you in order to stay, to keep their level mind while they're in the beginning of a new entanglement, okay? They need to dump on you because a narc is always going to have the up, they're going to have a high and they're going to have a low. And when you're going through that torment, when you're going through that torment stage, that's when they're over there in the new supply space, giving the new supply everything they got. They're giving the new supply everything they got. And the whole time, the whole time, you're, you're being tormented so that they can run to this other person. The moment you say no, I'm out. No, no, nah, I ain't, ain't uh-uh. No, sir. When you close that door, guys, when you close that door and say, no, I, I ain't dealing with you no more. I ain't dealing with you again. Now they got to take that craziness they've been giving to you, that all the time starting stuff. Now they got to take that whole train wreck right over there to them. And that's one of the reasons why You'll notice, guys, when, when the narcissist, when you go no contact, they piss with you. They are pissed with you. They pissed. And they're pissed because they're looking at you like, how could you do this to us? How could you just go no contact? Most of the time, they don't want you to do that. Most of the time, a narcissist wants to keep you in. They want to keep you there. They don't want to let you go. They don't want to let it go. They don't. They don't want to let it go, guys. They don't. They don't want to let it go. They were like, whoa, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it a minute. Let's, let's be friends. For real, they want to be friends. They like, let's let's just try to be amicable and whoo. That's right, Leandra. Leandra said, the pain reminds you to never go back to the thing that tried to break you. Whoo, man. The thing that broke you cannot fix you. It can't. It's, it's there to break you. It ain't there to fix you. Donna Hill says, so true, Hario. When you say no and set your boundaries, they don't like it. But oh well. And they, but they respect you after that. They don't like you, but they gotta respect you. Fenego said, if they was really gonna. If they was really gone and they've been devaluing you, they're, they're not going to entertain you for real. The grass is greener in their minds telling you once it's off and you're and you're on a sworn, you're a sworn enemy. Low key, that's right. That's right. They they idolizing somebody else. They got somebody else in their mind is this is the perfect person. Until you no longer allow them to contact you. 
And then they got to take that negative energy over there to the new person. See, a lot of y'all don't really see that new person dealing with that negative interaction because they're giving all the negative to you and then they run to the other person and they give all that happy that they were giving you at one time. They're giving it to somebody else the same way when they were giving it to you, they was giving somebody else all that craziness. They were giving you the happy. They were giving somebody else the crazy. Siva said, my ex showed me how much I influenced by him by using the words I used to uplift him on other people. Like, dang, you can't even uplift naturally on your own. They will slip and let you know that all the time, all the time. Butterfly D said, I changed my number, game over. And have the police involved. I'm not playing with this demon. You you can't. You got your whole life on the line on this situation, y'all. All the things they told me, I was for for years. I playing in my head. Ugh. Hey, Susie, I feel you. <laughs> Keisha said that's exactly what he said. Let's be friends. Keisha, don't do it. Don't do it because he ain't been your friend. How he gonna be your friend now? So he hated me for that. Oh well, let him, man. Please, please. He hate me. Well, well, well. <laughs> Say yeah. Well, and you know what? Hey, Keisha, for real, for real. You should have really been looking at him like, oh, you hate me now? No, you hated me the whole time. And you know what? The hardest part of it to believe for us guys is. That's the person that you did so much for, the person that you would never do anything to hurt or harm, is the same person doing everything they can to hurt you and tear you down. Everything that they can possibly do. That's why we don't see it. That's honestly why we don't see it, guys, because you can't believe that the person that you would literally do anything for how they could just try to just tear you down like this. Hey, guys, it's Friday night. Thank y'all for coming through and hanging out. Mm. Whoa, Leandra said the knock is nothing but shattered dreams. Good gosh. Whoa. Nothing but shattered dreams. That's, a hey, Leandra, that's exactly how it feels. Like you had a dream of y'all working and winning together. And it's just like somebody just crashed all the glass on the ground and broke it all. Let's put some love and peace in the chat, y'all. <sighs> I'm going to do another video tomorrow because it was just too much in here tonight, y'all. It was too much energy in here tonight. I'm going to throw y'all some more tomorrow because boy, oh boy, I got some good ones tonight. Oh, my goodness. Thank y'all, family. I show sure enough appreciate the peace, the love, everything. Misha, thank you. Whoo, man. I ain't lying, y'all. This was a mean chat tonight. Whoo, hey, Jay, you gonna be you gonna be all right, man. Say last time I was in the mirror was a long time ago, right before I met the narc. It's all right, man. Just keep hanging with us. You're going to get, you already made it through the hardest part, champ. Just keep on doing what you're doing. You made it through the hardest part. Everything is all right, man. I'm going to see y'all. That's right. We win, y'all. We win. I'm going to see y'all on Monday. New video for tomorrow. Peace and soul train. Thank y'all, family. <laughs>